Let's now solve a problem involving first passage reliability. So uh, this is the problem uh, statement. Let's take a minute to read this and then we'll start solving. So we need to find uh, the mean time to failure uh, and the probability that uh, the item will survive uh, 10 units of time. So the reliability at time 10. Uh, let's see uh, what we know so far that S and Q are stationary processes. So their variances are so the variance of, of any random variable is expectation of uh, x squared minus the mean squared. Uh, so the autocorrelation function r, rss, is basically the expectation of uh, the process and uh, its counterpart at a lag tau. So uh, when the lag is zero, we have the expectation of the process squared. So uh, the uh, e of s squared is 29 uh, and e of q squared is 5. Both of these come from the RSS and RQQ respectively that you see on the top. So that gives us uh, the variance as uh, the variance of S as ES squared minus the mean uh, of S squared. So that's 29 minus 5 squared and uh, EQ squared is uh, 5. So sigma Q squared is 1. So uh, these quantities we're going to use uh, very soon. Now the, the safety margin uh, is the difference of uh, S and Q and because each of these uh, quantities S and Q are stationary Gaussian, the difference is Gaussian and also stationary. Uh, the mean is uh, 5 minus 2, 3 and uh, the standard deviation is sigma m and uh, the autoco autocorrelation function is uh, rmm at lag tau. So let's find them. Uh, the variance of m is the variance of s plus the variance of q <coughs> and the autocorrelation function. Let's start from uh, the basic definition. So r m m tau is e m t times m t plus tau. Uh, and let's now write that out, uh, m being s minus q, so we can expand those and uh, turns out to be this expectation. So uh, let's take term by term, so expectation of s t times s t plus tau by definition is the autocorrelation function of s, so it's r s s tau and likewise uh, we can uh, find the rest. We need to remember that uh, S and Q are independent processes, so the expectation of their product will be the product of their expectations. So uh, putting all of that together, uh, we find that R M M tau is the expression uh, that includes R S S tau, R Q Q tau, and the uh, the uh, product of the the means, and uh, with all the quantities defined, uh, we find that uh, the RMM tau is a function of uh, tau square as well as the individual means. And let's just make sure that a few things uh, add up. So RMM0 would be by definition E of M squared uh, and that uh, is, is clearly uh, correct. Uh, we find that at tau equals 0, our mm0 by the above formula it's 14 and uh, em square is also uh, 14. So uh, we have derived this correctly. Now uh, let's, let's move on. On the left I have written uh, whatever we have derived so far and now let us 
take a look at the derivative process because for the first passage probability we would need uh, the standard deviation of the derivative process. Uh, there is another result uh, which um, uh, uh, we have not learned formally is that the autocorrelation function uh, for uh, m dot the derivative process in such situations is the second derivative of the parent of the uh, autocorrelation of the parent process times minus one so it's it's the negative of the second derivative uh, so since we know the autocorrelation function of m uh, we can easily find uh, that of uh, m dot and that turns out to be a function of the lag tau. Uh, m dot is a stationary process so its variance uh, would be uh, its uh, autocorrelation at 0 minus its mean square but again it's a zero mean process so what you see there is sigma m dot square is r m dot uh, at 0 minus mean squared so that comes to uh, 68 and the standard deviation of m dot is 8.25 uh, so again um, let's see what we have learned so far uh, um, we have found that the stationary standard deviation of m dot is 8.25 and now uh, let us try to find the answer so our item fails when mt becomes negative for the first time uh, but we need to come to a zero mean process we know that the mean of m uh, is 3 so let's just take the difference and define a new margin m0 as 3 minus mt and uh, this m0 now is a zero mean process uh, now obviously uh, just adding a constant does not change the variance of the autocorrelation function uh, of, of a process so uh, m0t has the same variance and the same autocorrelation function uh, as m um, and obviously uh, the derivative process of m0 and the derivative process of mt have identical properties uh, so with that in mind uh, failure occurs when m0t is greater than 3 becomes greater than 3 for the first time and so that first that that first passage uh, is uh, the passing of the barrier uh, of 3 by m0 from below and the upcrossing rate is uh, as we have found out uh, the expression for nu a plus so uh, putting in the values of a and sigma m uh, and sigma m dot or equivalently sigma m0 and sigma m0 dot uh, they're the same so it comes out to be uh, 0.2386 per unit time so that's the the rate of up crossing and hence the mean time to failure because we are talking about an exponential random variable uh, as time to failure is 1 over the rate so that's 4.2 units of time and r of 10 r at 10 is r0 times exponential minus nu times t or 10 and that gives me an answer of about 9.2 percent